All right, everybody, the patch notes just dropped last night, so let's cover it. There are not a lot of changes except for one area which might be massive, so let's get into it and subscribe if you enjoy. Big Swig Roller is basically getting double object damage, like to everything, HP specials, umbrellas, splash walls, etc. That is all the main weapon changes, and this is all the sub weapon changes. Burst Bomb is being nerfed by having 10 extra whiting frames. This is similar to Fizzy getting 15 in an earlier patch, and is basically a delay before you can throw more bombs. The main two Burst Bomb weapons in the meta right now are Splash and Stamper, in which it'll hurt Stamper a little bit more, but does tone back both, which is good. Special Weapons got the most changes this patch, and they are almost all related to Crab. Trizuka is doing extra damage by 20%, Inkjet doing extra damage by 250%, and Ultra Stamp increased damage by 300%. There is also a change to Killer Whale, meaning you will need less special power up to achieve a better effect. Now, the numbers on this, as translated by Pika, are likely that Zuka damage to Crab is now going from 330 to 400, Inkjet from 100 to 250, going from a 5 to a 2 shot is pretty insane. The swings of Ultra Stamp in Rush Mode do 450, almost breaking it in one hit, but now 2 up from 150 with the multipliers. And finally, the Stamp Throw goes from doing 240 to 720. 20. Basically, the throw will one-shot Crab. And no, Crab Tank did not get any direct nerfs. It's just the other specials dealing more damage. And when we go to the points for special changes, as you can see here, we also did not get any splash points for special nerfs. Aerospray and Enzap will both be cheaper. Zap is probably overkill, but it's not the first time they have overbuffed a shooter's points for special. Tri-Slosher will have a cheaper inkjet, same for ball points, so it's nice they're actually looking at the inkjet weapons. And Tri-Stringer being 180 for Whale will give it much better special output, which I think is actually pretty big for that weapon. Will this kill Crab? Uh, no, probably not on its own. Double Crab, maybe, but realistically, none of these changes would point me to think that Crab would be absolutely gone, just making the counters a bit better. Stuff like the new Rapid Deco is now going to be a lot more threatening since it's a weapon that can damage the Crab Rider and now reliably break it with the special. And stuff like Splatana Wiper will also be a good bit better against it because of the special buff. But as a whole, these feel like weapons you would run alongside the 2x Splash. I really think 210 points for special at this point should have happened, and I said that last time too, so it's kind of funny. I'll also say my one issue with balancing the specials like this is stuff like Inkjet and Ultra Stamp still suck just as much as they did before if they're not going against Crab. So it doesn't fix their problems permanently, it just makes them better options in this one meta. And that means long term, well, still gotta buff them the same way we did before. And I wish these specials got more permanent fixes that would make them better even outside of a Crab meta. However, there is one glimmer of hope in this patch. We have stage adjustments for Eeltail Alley in every mode, Haggle in Turf Zones and Clan Blitz, Mincemeat in every mode but Tower Control, Hammerhead in all modes, Museum in all modes but Tower Control, Mahi on Turf and Zones, Mako on every mode but Rainmaker, and Wahoo World on Zones, Turf, and Clam Blitz. That's right, we're getting stage adjustments, and the devs talk a little bit more about the patch direction below. The changes have a few purposes. One, trying to reduce strategies of repeated sub-spam weapons. That's the Burst Bomb nerf. The other thing is the stage adjustments are specifically to reduce the strength of long-range weapons, which include things like Chargers or Splatlings, but also stuff like Crab. This is our glimmer of hope. If these are actual flanks and better cover on these map modes, that is going to be huge for the game and address problems even outside of Crab, as well as making it weaker. But, as of now, we don't know what those look like. As soon as we can see them, which will probably be tomorrow thanks to data miners, I will start working on my own video covering them, as that honestly deserves its own topic. We also know that the next patch will focus on main weapon adjustments primarily, it'll include some other stuff too, and that they might be doing patches faster, as the next update is around the end of March or first half of April, which could mean that they're doing patches once every month instead of month and a half. I'm guessing this will depend on just how well this patch is received and things are changed, so it's good to see that if the patches aren't working, they're going to do them more frequently, as more frequent patches are good for this model of not really nerfing too many things and trying to buff. Now, if the stages are not significantly improved, I honestly think 2x Crab will still be meta. There will be way more options to deal with it, and it'll be far less oppressive, but it's still going to be everywhere. So, realistically, everything comes down to the stage changes, guys. We'll have to see what they do. Let me know your thoughts below, and I'll see you guys then.